Hello. I'll talk about the computer science and why something makes sense with limited information. And the uh, skeptics say cables and tweaks don't make a difference because they have a limited information. And when I learned, I started learning computer science. And in computer science, you learn about zeros and ones, either something is off or on, and that's called a bit. And everything in the computer is saved in bits, zero or one. And in groups of eight bits is called a byte. And uh, the music will consist of uh, those zeros and ones, and it is uh, everything is converted into zeros and ones. Okay, and that is the base thing of computers. And you have computer languages and everything, but everything is converted into that those zeros and ones. What happens is that in any kind of conversion process, uh, you get noise in the system because if you have, if you, you can compare it yourself, compared, compare lossless format like FLAC. Compare it to wave. You hear that wave sounds much better, even if the data is exactly the same. The reason is during the conversion process, you add a noise into the computer. And uh, based on logic, it makes no sense because the zeros and ones are the same. So how can it sound different? But there's something extra added into the signal, something that isn't on the source file. There's something else that is riding on top of the signal, and that is noise. And the vibrations of the system will ride on top of the signal. So it's not only the, the source file you are hearing, you are hearing something else that is interfering with the music. And when you learn computer science, it makes sense, it is very logical that cables and tweaks don't make a difference if you only have the basic knowledge of uh, computer science. Zeros and ones, nothing else. So how can the data change when placing a tweak on your system? The data remains the same, it is either zero or one. Either, either it works or it doesn't work. And that is the logic skeptics have. But they don't have more information about the subject that something else can interfere with the sound that you hear from your speakers. And uh, you can say the same thing about Earth, that people, some people say Earth is flat because they don't have enough information. They have the limited information. They look and see a field, it is flat. So they say Earth is flat based on the limited information they have. But once you get more information, like you travel, you fly up into the air, okay? You see the horizon, you see it is curved. Then it, the more, the higher up you go, the more you see that Earth is round until you reach outer space. Then you see the planet, it is round. So you just need to travel further to gain more information about the subject until you realize, yeah, cables and tweaks are really making a difference. Because there's something else, some, some other knowledge you need to acquire to reach that conclusion. Just like with traveling to outer space to see planet Earth, you need to go outside the box to see the box. Okay, if you sit inside the box, you can only guess how the box looks like from the outside. You need to go outside the box. So you can't have that, that digital thinking of zeros and ones. That either something works or it doesn't. Either the cable works or it doesn't work. That's a very limited way of thinking. You are thinking inside the box, not outside the box. You must go outside and look at other variables outside of the zeros and ones. And many skeptics, they always say about the 
placebo effect. That's the only thing. That's the only external variable that they can think of. Placebo effect. Because skeptics, they like to feel superior. Because they are narcissists. They like to sit on their high horse and look down on everyone. They always want to be correct. They don't want to be proven wrong. The, the problem with this is that if you are not willing to be proven wrong, you are never going to be proven wrong because you are never going to admit. You are never going to accept that you are wrong. But as uh, if you are a scientist, you know that being wrong is equally exciting as being correct because you are moving forward in your research if you discover you are wrong and I have been wrong many times many times in my past I have been 100% sure of things but it ended up being wrong and after that I have learned that even if I'm 100% sure of something it might be wrong so I can never be 100% sure of anything anymore in life. Because there were those times in the past when I, I thought I was 100% correct. And even when I made IQ tests, I thought, yeah, this IQ test was easy. I thought I had everything correct in the IQ test. I had only 10% correct. 10%. That's a big difference of uh, 100%. 10 times worse score than I thought I would get. And after that, I just... Every single test I, I take, I can never be 100% certain of anything. It is just impossible. There's always something extra. Some other knowledge that is deeper and better than the knowledge... I had than the logic I had. My logic was very simple, very basic. There was a deeper logic that was more correct. And you can just go deeper and deeper into finding different solutions for the same question. And today when I made the IQ test, I found a couple dozen different answers to the test. So if you only find one uh, answer, you might think that is correct, but there's 20 more answers to the same question. And skeptics, when they find one answer, they think this is correct, nothing, nothing else is out there. But there is, you just need to search for other possibilities, other solutions. And that's the reason why capes and tweaks are making a difference in the sound. Because there are just an infinite amount of uh, solutions. An infinite amount of theories why cables and tweaks make a difference. And skeptics, they only have one explanation. They, have, they say this placebo effect. That's the only explanation they have. Why the audiophiles are hearing better sound. Placebo effect, that's, they, they, they can't even think about any other explanation why cables and tweaks make a difference. And that is, that's a mistake. That's a big mistake. Because the skeptic is missing out on great orgasms from their hi fi systems. So, you want to go to eBay, make a bid on the auctions. And you can, you can let the skeptics be behind and then they will suffer in the future when they discover what a mistake it was to be narrow-minded and not willing to accept other solutions, other alternatives. But you are wiser than the skeptics, so you can go to eBay, make a bid on the auction and win it for a few cents. Either you click the link below in the description box or you write into your browser audiophile.rocks You will get to the eBay page where you can find those tweaks Okay, so I will see you next time Rock your audio system Goodbye